So a lot of people have a lot of opinions of what's going on in this country and what is causing a lot of the chaos that is taking place on a daily basis. I have my own theories on this situation. And my theory is, upon all this chaos, it's all been basically generated by what people call fear-mongering. Fear is one of the biggest concerns among a lot of people. The unknown is what is really undermining what is going on. Because, see, most people really fear the unknown. They're not prepared for the unknown. They're not prepared for the chaos. They're not prepared and ready to deal with all these different situations. On Black Friday, I released a video on what happened with the stock market. And what happened with the stock market was because of the fear of the new variant that is in Africa and how they're trying to close the borders and everything else so that hopefully maybe it doesn't move from one country to the next. Which, if you think about it, on what we've already been through, will happen. Things are going to happen. We're going to have constantly new variants coming out. It's no different, people, than the flu. Every year, the flu comes around. Has been for a long time. Every year, they come up with a new flu shot correct? Because they have to try and guess what kind of strand it's going to be. And we've been dealing with this for a very long time. Now, yes, people have died and passed away from the flu. The same thing is going to take place with all these different variants that are coming from Charlie Victor 19. It's no difference. There's going to be new variants that pop up every time we turn around. We think the smoke is cleared, but it never is going to clear. It's something that we have to learn to live with. And until we can learn to live with it, as in the flu, people are going to be scared. You have people that are still wearing their masks while they're by themselves in their car, with the windows up, for what? Because of fear. I don't know if they think that it's right outside their window. I don't know. You have the people that are riding their bikes, they're jogging and everything else, and they're still wearing their mask. Why? You're by yourself. You're outside. There is no one else around. I don't understand the theology behind that. And the only way to explain it is fear. Now, I'm not saying that masks work, and I'm not saying that masks don't work. All I'm stating is, is what I see on a daily basis. That doesn't make any sense to me. I scratch my head and wonder why. Why are you riding around in your car with the windows up with your mask on? Just don't get it. Why are you jogging and riding your bike by yourself and wearing your mask? Don't get that either. I can understand if people want to wear their masks if they're going into a highly populated area. If you're going to an event, if you're going to a school event, a school concert or something for your kids, um, maybe you're going to the grocery store on a busy day of the week and you know the place is packed. And if people want to wear their masks, they're more than fine to do so. I guess, in the end, you really have to sit back and think about the whole situation. And here's the key point. We live in America. I believe that everybody should have the right to their own opinion and what they want to do with their own bodies. I believe that if someone wants to wear a mask, wear a mask. If somebody wants to get the jab, get the jab. 
Everybody has that God-given right. That's why we live in this country. If people don't want to, they have the right. I don't think that they should be mandated to where they have to have this done or they lose their jobs, they can't travel, they can't go to events, they can't do this, they can't do that. It's only a matter of time before if the government really wants to really come down hard on these people, they're going to stop them from even going to the grocery store. Mark my words, people. It's probably already been thought about and talked about in the government. I'm sure there's people up there that would just love to do something like that. You see, fear is how they can control what goes on in our lives and how they can take less of our freedoms away from us because they use fear as the leverage to get what they want. Now, maybe I'm wrong. If I am, put it in the comments below. But I don't think I am. Because they really would like to have that control. And the easiest way for them to get it right now is with fear. You saw what happened with just the fear of them announcing this variant. And closing the borders on Black Friday. The Dow took a dump. Went down 900 and some odd points. What's going to happen when all of a sudden it gets really close to home here? Does that mean the Dow's going to tank because we could be headed back into the same situation we've been before? Or so they tell us that. I guess the part of the chaos is not knowing and the part of the fear is what's putting a hurt on what is going on actually in this country. So what do we do? My advice to everybody, and I've been stating this since I did a video right before Charlie Victor 19 was knocking on our door, and I said, grab a coffee, we have to talk. And I told everybody right then and there, this is going to change the world we know and you better get prepared now and within a month later the grocery stores were empty coming out of the holiday season right now one of the holiday seasons I should say Thanksgiving we still have Christmas and New Year's to get through beginning of the year prices are all going up on all goods my advice to everybody out there is to be prepping putting away as much as you can, going through your whole house and seeing what you use on a daily basis, not just food, anything and everything, because anything and everything is going up. I keep telling you this, you need to pay attention. I physically can't come there and go through your house and say, you need more of this and you need more of that. That's something you have to do on your own. A lot of us out here that are doing videos and talking about some of this kind of stuff between the new variant, between the shortages, between the markets, inflation, and everything else that's going on. The perfect storm is brewing, folks. And if you don't get prepared soon and try to top off what you got, it's going to make it a lot harder when prices go way up for a lot of folks. And I'm afraid after the first of the year, some people may be priced right out of prepping. Because you see, the government don't like people like me and you because they know we're ready. And they know that it's harder to control somebody that is prepped and ready and can withstand for a while their own chaos that they want to create than the people that are not ready and cater and fall because of the chaos and the fear. Think about it, folks. Keep prepping. 
Thrive to Survive. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Till next time, folks. I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Thank you.